passwords. We use them every day, and unfortunately, most of us reuse them, forget them, or trust them to the cloud. But what if you could store all your passwords securely, offline, under your complete control? Today, I'll show you how to get started with KeePass XC, a free, open-source, cross-platform password manager that keeps everything safe right on your device. Let's dive in. First, head to the official website, keepassxc.org. Download the latest version for your operating system. Run the installer like any other program. On Linux, you can usually find it in your software store or install it via your package manager. KeePass XC is a password manager based on the original KeePass. It works on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Unlike cloud-based managers, KeePass XC stores your passwords in an encrypted database file locally. That means you hold the keys, not some third-party server. It's perfect for privacy-conscious users, and with the right setup, you can sync your database securely using your own storage if you want to. Once it's downloaded, run the installer. It's very straightforward. Just click Next a few times and accept the defaults. While it is opening, let us install the browser integration extension. KeePass XC also has optional auto-type and browser integration features. Autotype lets you fill in passwords in any app or browser with a hotkey. The KeePass XC browser extension works with Chrome, Firefox, and others. We need to enable browser integration and create a database in KeePass XC. Let's create your first password database. I created one earlier. When you open it yourself, it will be blank. Click New Database, then follow these steps. Database name. Give it a name like My Passwords. Here you can adjust the database encryption settings. If you want, you can change them later in the database settings. Now, the most important part, your master password. This is the one password you must remember. If you forget this, your data is gone forever. There is no password recovery. Make it long, strong, and memorable. A passphrase made of multiple words is great. For example, my purple bicycle battery staple is strong and easier to remember than a complex jumble of characters. You can also add a key file for extra security, but for now, let's keep it simple with just a master password. Click Done. Next, choose where to save your database file. It's a .kdbx file. You can even sync it manually with a service like Dropbox or a USB drive. Your vault is open. Let's add our first password. Click New Entry. Enter the title. For example, Gmail, then type in your username or email. Click the little dice icon to generate a strong password. You can enter your current password or change the password to the one generated here. The URL field is useful too. Let us now connect the browser extension to KeePass. Now, how do you use these passwords? You could right-click an entry and click Copy Password, then paste it into a website. But there's a better way, Autotype. 
make sure key pass XC is running in the background. Go to the login page for one of your entries, like Google. Click in the username field. Look at that. It automatically typed everything for me. This is not only convenient, it also protects you from key loggers because the typing is simulated internally. It's brilliant. It will do the same for the password. It will automatically fill it up. This is not a real Google account. I just made it up. You can also create groups, basically folders to keep everything organized. For example, you can create categories like banking, social media, work, and so on. Just right-click, then create a new group. After that, create or drag entries into it. Simple and clean. You can also easily import passwords from other password managers. Just go to Import. If you do not want to use the same passwords forever, you can make them expire at a certain time. When you are away from your desk, make sure to close or lock your key pass. If you ever get stuck or want to learn more about KeePass XC's features, the program comes with built-in help content. Just click on the Help menu at the top, and you'll find User Guide. Detailed documentation explaining every option, from database settings to advanced features. From here, you can explore more advanced features like using TOTP for two FA codes, organizing with groups and tags, or even syncing your database file between devices using a service like Dropbox. Though, remember, if you do that, the file is in the cloud, but it's still encrypted with your master password. If this tutorial helped you take control of your digital security, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials that help you stay safe and productive online. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.